linear array. Let's create an array. Uh, so an array is something that is has a pattern, uh, and the pattern is either rectangular or radial, and radial is like around the clock. So we're going to go with a linear array. The first thing we need to do is select the objects. I have here these four walls, and I select these four walls. Then I'm going to go up into Modify, and I'm going to choose my array uh, tool. And then in my Options bar, I have a variety of things I can choose. First one is I'm in the linear array, and that should be turned blue as being on. Uh, I can click this button to activate dimensions, and it'll show all the dimensions of this object. I can group and associate. When I group things, it's I'm treating them all as one unit one huge block of stuff and the number of items these are the number of items we're gonna have I'm gonna change it to four and I'm gonna go I'm gonna do the second move to the second and then constraint is it's either gonna be vertical or horizontal when we constrain it I'll put it off on an angle so the first thing it says is down here it says click to enter move start point click to enter move start point so I'll click down here and then I'm gonna go out here at a 45 degree angle and I'm gonna go at 20 feet and I'm gonna click you'll see that it puts it every 20 feet at a 45 degree angle I'm gonna undo that I'm gonna do that again I'm gonna modify I'm gonna select my walls I'm gonna go up to my array command and this time I'm gonna change I'm gonna change it to 4 like I had last time um, but I'm actually going to go to the last option this time. And now it says uh, click to enter move start point. So down here, click to enter move start point. I'm going to come over here, click on this midpoint. I'm going to go back up again at 20 feet and at 45 degrees. And I'm going to click. And you'll see this time that it fit all of my arrayed objects between that start point and the last point. So the difference between the two various options. I'm going to undo that. And this time I'm going to go to Modify. And I'll pick it. I'm going to go to my Array command. And this time I'm going to, uh, I'm going to say Active activate uh, dimensions and I'm going to this time group and associate things and I'm going to constrain things and I'm going to put it to 4 and so now it says uh, click to enter move start point so I'm down here it says click to enter move start point I'll pick the midpoint and now I can only go sideways or vertical so I'll go sideways and I'm going to go out to, uh, oh, say, uh, 80 feet. Okay. I'm going to click. And now I've generated, it'll say, uh, enter the array count. And I'm going to say four. All right. So in here, I'll say four. I'll hit enter. And now I created, a, in this case, uh, a model group so I'm group these as four groupings so when I pick on these things uh, over here in my type it's a model group or an array group so these things are kinda treated as a unit now and uh, so you may want that or may not uh, so I'm gonna undo that now and I'll go back and I'm just going to do one more time here. We're going to say modify, select this object. I'm going to go to array, and I'm going to say activate dimensions. And you notice when I activate dimensions, I get all the dimensions of these walls showing up. So I'm going to uncheck the group and associate there. And I will go with the second, and I'm going to constrain. And say enter the first point, so I'll pick here and I'll go to my second which I'll go over at uh, say 20 feet again
and now I get a copy of that at 20 feet and so I have to set the how many of the items I want in my array so the linear array allows us to make patterns of our elements in a rectangular type fashion